Basic, Spanak, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'm going to be tying a, I'm gonna, actually I'm going to be starting a month-long series uh, all on leeches. So it's going to be um, all kinds of different style leeches, uh, all for, for fresh water, um, for lakes, for trout. Uh, today I'm going to start with the, uh, uh, my version of Chan's Ruby Eyed Leech. So here we go. So in the vise today, I've got a Hens BL724. It's just a streamer hook, so whatever uh, brand you like. Uh, I've got a uh, little um, uh, gunmetal uh, cone and then a uh, red glass bead. Okay, I'm going to start with some black nano silk. Zebra fly nano silk and black 12 on. I'm going to start that right behind the eye here, or behind the bead, sorry. I'm going to go all the way back to the bend. Okay, now you can do this in many different ways. Um, it's one of the reasons I like leeches, because you can uh, do it in so many different ways. Now, what I like doing here is I like having some weighted and some unweighted, um, more than just the... Uh, the cone, uh, especially since the, these cones, they're not the heaviest in the world either, right? Anyway, so, so I'm just going to take a little bit of sticky back flat lead. If you have watched any of my other videos, you guys will know that I really like this uh, sticky back one uh, rather than the, uh, uh, rather than the uh, spooled stuff, but uh, that's just my personal preference. I think I, I feel I can control the thickness better. Um, but, uh, you know, of course, I'm having problems getting the back off when I'm wanting to do a video. Never, ever have a problem getting the back off. There you go. So, I just, you just peel the back off of it, right? So, I'm just going to put a layer just in the front half here. Stop my thread from spinning. Just a little bit of extra weight, just to help get this down a little quicker. Um, I do most of the time like controlling my descent of my fly with uh, with uh, my fly line, but uh, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of that extra. And I want a little bit more in the front. I want this thing to undulate a bit, so a little heavier in the front. So I'll put an extra wrap right at the front there. Okay, done. So back over top of that just to make sure it's all tied in nicely and come back to the front things gonna take a piece of hens marabou in black okay so I'm going to take one feather out of the package and then I'm going to just strip off of one side. So I'm just going to get that exposed and then I'm just going to go to, to the longest feathers here. Strip, fold, strip, fold, strip, fold. I want a fairly substantial tail, not huge. I'm going to add a little bit more after this. So. I'm just going to figure, I want about the length of the body past, so about there. So I'm just going to cut off all that fluff, tie this in right behind the bead. Right behind it, underneath it, then back over. A little, little tiny bit long, but not a lot. So I'm just going to nip off just a little bit there. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little tiny piece of red marabou. <clears throat> like I said, this is my version. It's a little different than than Brian Chan's version. And just a little tuft of red right on top. I'm just going to tie that in like that. Nip that off in a second. Just tear that 
off, cut that off there. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of the Zemperfly uh, Gala and Red blend. Zemper flash. Just put a couple of pieces, not much. I don't want a ton of flash in the, in the back end of this. I'm just going to line this up a bit. It doesn't matter in the end. I'm going to end up cutting it because I've got it way too long on purpose. So one on two on one side, two on the other side. So I'm going to have to let that wrap around. Excuse my fingers. Just going on this on this side. Sorry, my fingers are getting in the way. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go a little bit tiny bit longer than the tail and cut it. Get rid of that. Okay, I'm just gonna check that focus for you guys there. Just a wee tad out of focus. Just a wee tad. So, alrighty. So at this point, I'm gonna do a dubbing, dubbing loop. Come back to there. Take my dub and spinner. Now I'm going to be using Stu Thompson's uh, Dark Water Dubbing, um, Midnight Fire. It's uh, the original cop car. Um, I think Stu developed this back in the, this mix back in the, if I remember, the late '80s, early '90s. Battery died. Sorry, guys. I'm. Battery died on me, so hopefully I can get it back to the right spot. It doesn't look too confusing. I get everything all wound up here. So I just uh, put my my dark water dubbing into a dubbing loop. Give it a spot and spin. Get that nice and tight, and then I'm going to take uh, one of these little the little brass wire brushes, and I find this uh, is this was thing I learned actually right from Stu is that uh, this stuff picks out the best when you use these uh, the metal ones. So. So, I'm going to do one good loop right at the tail and come forward one, two, and take my brush and brush it out already. Just a, just a little bit to make sure that's brushed out of it. And one, two, three, and brush it out a little bit. And just another maybe one more once I got this brushed out that ruby eye will stick out a little bit better okay out of it nice tie it down cut off my dubbing loop put on a whip finish at this point just to make sure that you're not pulling anything out nice and secure and then I'm gonna leave that hooked up and I'm just gonna get aggressive here and really pull this dark water dubbing out and I always like going back in even though this is the uh, the dark water like it's pretty well pulled out now but I like going in with a, a velcro as well just making sure it got it all pulled out nicely there we go so that's good I didn't lose any whip finishes so I can cut that off and there is my version of the ruby eyed leech um, like I said, there's several different versions of it, but when this gets wet, this this dubbing really 
it lays down nicely and it just gives a nice streamlined little body and with that little bit of extra underbody weight it really uh it'll help really get that that fly to undulate right this front end is so much heavier so it'll undulate as you're uh, stripping it in so alrighty hope you guys enjoyed that one if you did give her a thumbs up uh, if you've subscribed thank you if you have not please consider doing so and like I said this is gonna be a month long um, uh, all leeches from now on for for the rest of May and all uh, most of June I will be doing uh, uh, two videos a week and it'll be all leeches so. Ready? Thailand's everyone.